Chapter 3 The Shadows in the Night There was a person near the door to tomorrow our room. No, it wasn't a person. It was a shadow. Paxton closed the door to his room quickly. Then he put a black bag on the table. Is it in there? I asked. Paxton didn't answer. Slowly, he opened the bag. In his hand was a black book. It was very old. Paxton opened it it for us. Can you see the names? He said. Long looked at the names in the book. William Ages, he said. But I didn't look at it. No, I looked at the crown in our view, friend's hands. It was very old, but it was beautiful. I had a lot of questions. How old was the crown? Was it light or heavy? I moved my hand to the crown, but Paxton shouted, No! I stopped asking questions and looked at Paxton. I'm sorry, he said to me, but you don't understand my problem. I want to put the ground back in the ground. I didn't believe him. You can't put it back, I said. This ground is very important. Telephone the newspaper in London. No, you don't understand, Paxton said again. His eyes were big and afraid. Okay, let's go to our room, Long said. We can talk about the problem there. Paxton put the crown back in the black bag. He went to the door, but then he stopped. Wait, go before me and look. In your room, he said. Please. But why? Long said. We are the only visitors in this hotel. But then we remembered the crown in Paxton's black bag. I opened the door and we looked left, right. There was a person near the door to our room. No, it wasn't a person. It was a shadow. It moved quickly. Who was that? Long asked. We were in our room now. I don't know, I answered. A hotel worker? No, it wasn't a hotel worker, Paxton said. He finished his story for us. Paxton went back to the hotel from William Ages' his house that afternoon. In his room, he looked at the Ages' books for a long time. Then he closed the book and went down for some food. Later, he went back to the room. The book was open at William Ages' name. Paxton was afraid, but that didn't stop him. He went to the hill again 
with his spade. It was dark now, but he didn't stop working. Suddenly, there was a noise. Was it the wind? Paxton looked behind him. Was there a man in the trees? A dark shadow? No, of course not. Paxton started to work again. The spade was heavy now, and it was a difficult job. He wanted to sleep, but he wanted to find the ground too. And then, is what there? The crown. Paxton smiled. He put his hand on it. Suddenly, there was a noise behind him again. It wasn't the wind, and it wasn't an animal. It was the noise of a man, an angry man. Paxton looked behind him. Again, no man was there. But wait, did a shadow move? Paxton didn't know, but he was suddenly very afraid. He quickly put the crown in his bag and started to go back to the hotel. But now, the shadow was with him. It was always behind him. Paxton looked back, and the shadow always moved quickly away. But then, it came back. Sometimes, it was near him, and sometimes it was far away. Paxton was very afraid. Who or what was the shadow? And what did it want from him?